Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, talking about the San Francisco 49ers. In this one, predicting the game between us and the Denver Broncos happening this Sunday night in Denver. I'm excited for this matchup. I hope you guys are as well. We get to play Russell Wilson yet again for another year. I mean, it feels like an eternity that we played him. I'm just kidding. We played him in 2021 and I think we got swept twice, which is pretty disappointing right there. For whatever reason, when Russell Wilson plays against the 49ers when he was in Seattle, he always had a good game no matter what. They could be struggling for five games in a row against other teams, but when he played the 49ers, he was very comfortable playing the 49ers, even when the 49ers were at their best. It is what it is and for maybe Russell's going get energized for playing this team yet again but we'll see you then on Sunday night it's gonna be in Denver the altitude's gonna be pretty high if you're not used to playing the altitude then it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle early on and then hopefully you get acclimated to it play regular football right I'm excited for this matchup I hope you guys are as well everybody's gonna be watching this game it's on national television I can't wait to see this and watch this I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday nothing too crazy for me it's still excited for the game against Seattle finally blowing them out that was just a lot of fun right there when was the last time we ever blew Seattle out let alone win against them. I'm excited. I'm pumped up for this week and I hope you guys are as well. Let's get this started but before I do per usual please like and subscribe that's going to definitely help me out a lot. Click that bell notification to get notified of future videos. Share 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 this content with Fell Niner Faithful podcast if you guys want to check it out. Link will be in the description below. Been promoting it quite a bit on my channel and other social media pages. If you guys want to check it out please check it out. It's a lot of fun. Me and Aaron we're having a blast doing this and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well if you have been listening to it. Thank you guys so much. Let's get this started. 49 versus versus Denver Broncos. Who is going to win this game prediction time? Okay, so prediction, prediction, prediction. Who am I picking to win this one? Before I do, per usual, let's do a tail of the tape on each team and what they did last Sunday in their respective performances. The 49ers, they're coming off a win against the Seattle Seahawks, 27-7. I can't believe I just set that score right there. I mean, that's a pretty decisive victory. That's a pretty big blowout right there. I hope to have more of those in the future against them. It was a dominant victory. Offense and defense was on point. Unfortunately, Trey Lance got hurt in this game. I'm wishing him a very speedy recovery. It looking like surgery went really well for him. Can't wait to see him again in the future. But the day was for Jimmy Garoppolo. Just an awesome day for him. I was so happy for him. I think you guys were as well when he came back and just was really controlling the offense. He had control of the offense, I would say. It was just a great time to see. Defensively, they absolutely dominated against Geno Smith and company. They had their one Super Bowl week in week one against Denver. It's time to get humbled back again, and I'm glad the 49ers defense was able to do that. Had a great performance, and hoping they keep it up against Denver this Sunday night. Speaking of them, the Broncos, they are coming off a victory over the Houston Texans in 16-9. Not the greatest victory in the world for the Broncos, but at the same time, hey, a win is a win. I know we talk about teams struggling to barely get wins, but hey, you get a win. That's all that matters, right? Seattle used to be a huge offender of that. Every time we would play against Seattle, they would end up blowing us out and having an awesome performance. This was still a great win for the Broncos goes even though it was against the Texans nothing too special right there they should take it as a win they've been struggling a lot quite a bit for the past two games maybe they're just getting acclimated to each other in Denver both Nathaniel Hackett and Russell Wilson everybody else getting the chemistry going for the first two weeks but we'll see if they can keep it up do really well against the 49ers daunting defense it's gonna be a hard tough task for them because the Niners defense it's really good it's really really good I've seen them play even against the Chicago Bears the only reason they played bad was because they had penalties 15 yarders and reckless ones they played really clean against Seattle I expect them to do the same thing against Denver this Sunday night so let's talk about for the 49ers for my team and you guys' team if you're watching this important stuff for them in order to win this game I think the biggest one is to contain Russell Wilson we have been really doing a good job about that for the past decade against him he's been running around all day being able to stretch the ball down the field make big plays and they have to stop him from doing that real quickly they have a lot of great town they have a lot of great pieces stop their running game as well Williams and Melvin Gordon that's a very good tandem of running backs I don't know just for whatever reason in Denver it's just not working out like efficiently or whatever they can move the ball down the field but for whatever reason Nathaniel Hackett's bad play calling or his bad decision making has been getting in the way the defense is sort of okay but it's not the great defense that we used to know in the Von Miller days I don't know it's just something about Denver that's off right now 20 hours they got to take advantage of having a great offense offensive line has been improving big time Jeff Wilson Jr. he's pretty much the main guy for us in San Francisco in the running back position defensively they got to keep dominate 
dominate, dominate, especially in the trenches. They've been really good at that. Nick Bosa and company are awesome at that. Fred Warner and company, they had a much better game against Seattle in week two. I expect the great same thing. The secondary, I'm actually feeling not too bad about them. I mean, I think Mooney Ward, Traverius Ward from Kansas City, he's been a big difference maker for us in that defensive backfield. I think there's quote unquote swag to that backfield. A lot of confidence in the past few weeks now he's been a big difference maker i'm glad john lynch and company made that big move it wasn't the prettiest hiring it wasn't like stefan gilmore or anything like that but he fit a big system role it's fitting really well i'm glad it's working out so far Tolota hofanga he has been the mvp of the defense i would say in the backfield he is just making plays left and right from the backfield to the line of scrimmage i'm just so happy for him i knew he was going to be pretty decent coming out of usc now he is just doing awesome right now for the 49ers in his second year i expect even more more great things from him in the near future it's just a cool thing to see somebody that was more of a special teams player making plays at special teams now making plays as a starting role for the 49ers defensive backfield that's awesome right there i'm glad i'm glad he's doing really well other things to look forward to nothing much pretty much said everything that was really important for the 49ers russell wilson is the big key to this one they have to really get him on the ground put a lot of pressure on him because he still can't make plays is he still the great player that he was in seattle i don't think so but he's still a great player and he's a big threat the 49ers we know of all teams on how he is against us could be a different week where he has just an awesome game comes back from his terrible performances for the first two weeks against seattle and houston respectively if i had to pick a team to win this one i'm going to be picking the denver broncos russell wilson and company to beat us yet again no i'm just kidding i'm picking the 40 years again to win this one i'm one for one in victories of prediction time i got them winning this one i think they're going to play really good football jimmy garoppolo just don't turn the ball over as much then great things can happen defensively just pound their offensive line defensive backfield just keep improving then i think this could be a great win for the 49ers against this denver broncos team that's trying to find their identity we'll see then hopefully the 49ers can eke out this one and win two in a row if i had to pick a final score for this one i'm picking the 49ers to win this one about 24 denver 17 they could be kind of a decent game close game but i think the 49ers they are a better team on paper right now coming into this game but you never know anything can happen on the field any given sunday i think the 49ers can pull off this win and go two in a row that's it guys please let me know what you guys think about this game against the denver broncos please let me know in the comments below on who you guys got winning this game bronco fans if you're watching this i like to hear what you guys have to say as well if you guys like this please like and subscribe that's gonna help you out a lot i hope to catch you guys up this week when i talk more about this game and other things about the 49ers stay tuned to that bye guys love y'all i hope you have a great rest of your night go niners all day